Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. On our today's channel, particularly, I'm going to explain how we are going to find the integral of some arbitrary functions in general. So based on this two particular example, I'll try to show you how we are going to describe the important relation between the two terminologies, that is integration and differentiation. So on this lesson, generally, we're going to explain these two terminologies, how they will be just related. That means in our previous video, I have already shown how we are going to find the integral of some arbitrary functions and how we are going to find the derivative of any function. And also you, you, you are familiar, or if you see my previous video, you can just look the very important, very important concept of what is differentiation and integration. We have seen in my previous video. So today, let me show how we are going to relate and how we are going to describe the relation between differentiation and integrations in general. So now let's see. So in order to describe the important relation between these two terminologies, first of all, let us consider an arbitrary function f of x. Assume that f is any arbitrary function that may be or that function may represent an algebraic function or a transcendental function. Whatever the kind of the function f of x in general it may be, let me show you how we are going to relate this to important concept of calculus. So now let's see. So let us consider or let's assume that f is any function f of x and which is already denoted by this one. So the definition of this function is denoted by the derivative of this function is generally given by which is f prime at x. We call this, we can read this as f prime at x. That is the derivative of the function, this f of x. So the derivative of this formula will be this one. And we call this is the differentiation of this function. And we call this is a differentiation of this function. Similarly, if you find the reverse result of this formula, if you want to find the reverse result for this formula, simply you can find the integral of this one. And when we are finding the integral of this problem, so the integral or integration, we call this is the process. So the integral of this problem will be f of x plus a certain arbitrary constant c. So if you find the derivative of this one, you will have this. And if, I, if you find the integral of this, we call that f of x plus e. So differentiation means it is the process of finding. It is the process of finding the derivative of this one. And the result will be this one. Integration is also another process. Another process of finding the integral of this. So integration of this will be this one. And differentiation of this function will be this one. So this integration is generally considered as the reverse process of what a differentiation. So, in order to just describe the important relation between these two terminologies, let me show you these two particular examples. These two particular examples are really important to show this relation. So now let's see the first example. On the first example, as you see, you have already given the derivative of some arbitrary function. The function or the original function is not already clarified. So our objective is how we are going to find that function. So in order to determine or in order to find out this kind of function, simply we can apply what integration concepts in general. So based on the concept of integration, we can immediately find the integral, we can immediately find the result of f of x. And now let me show you. Well, now in order to find f of x, let us first of all relate what f of x in general. So f of x is always given by the integral of the function, the integral of the derivative of the function dx. 
That means this f of x is immediately given by this f of x is immediately given by the integral of f of x plus d of x. And we call this is immediately given by f of x has to be some arbitrary function plus certain kind of thing. So you know that this is immediately given by the integral of f derivative of x is x over that is the squares of x squared plus 4x. Now, in order to find this integral, this is equation function. This is equation function. So, in order to find the integral of this problem, so you can apply one of the very important techniques of finding integration, which is a u substitution method. And let's replace now, let's replace u as a equal to x squared plus 4. Because in the case of substitution, we have to substitute the function that has the highest degree. So now let's assume that this x squared plus 4 is 4. U, let's find the derivative of this function with respect to x. So this will be du, which is equal to 2x plus, to x plus 0. Because the derivative of any constant is 0, so that is immediately to, <coughs> to x. Then solving these, now we have this result. That means when we are solving this problem, x dx is immediately given by 1 over 2 times d. So this is the reason. Then based on this, uh, therefore, finally we have this result. Now let's just take this one, or let's write this problem on uh, uh, the integral in general. The integral of x over square root of x squared plus 4 dx is immediately given by the integral of that x dx is immediately replaced by 1 over 2 du 1 over 2 times du over x squared plus 4 is replaced by u and we have this so since any constant is independent of an integral since a constant is independent of an integral this is already given by 1 over 2 times the integral of du over square root of u. And this also written as, and this also written as, this also written as 1 over 2 times the integral of u raised minus 1 over 2 du. So, based on, based on the power rule, Integration based on power of integration means that you know that, and, and you can look, you can look how we are going to find the integral of such a problem in my previous video. That is this one. So, this is immediately given by x raised n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus e. This is the way how we are going to find the integral of such a function. So, this function, the integral the function, u raised minus 1 over 2n x raised and have similar procedure of finding. So this is immediately given by 1 over 2 times u raised minus 1 over 2 plus 1 over that is minus 1 over 2 plus 1 plus a same constancy. Because this is an indefinite integral. This is indefinite integral means that there is no upper and lower limit of summation. So this is an indefinite integral. So we have to add a certain, a certain arbitrary constant c, as you as you see in previous uh, uh, just this uh, discussion. I have already shown how we are going to find the integral of f of x. So this is immediately given by this is immediately given by. So this is f of x. Therefore, f of x is. Simply given by now this follows. Now this follows from this one. F of x is already given by one over two, one over two times u raised one over two over one over two. Now same thing constant c, and which is already the least focal of this will be two. So one over two times two u raised one over two plus c, and which is immediately given by f of x is given by u raised Simply square root of u, simply square root of u plus c, and u is square root of 
x square plus 4 plus c. And hence, now to find the value of c based on the given information, since f of 0 is exactly 0, so you can replace 0 on x, that is f of 0, which is equal to 0 square plus 4 plus c, that's exactly 0. So, squares of this mean 2. So, 2 plus c will be 0 and c will be minus 2. And therefore, and therefore, therefore, f of x is immediately squares of x squared plus 4 minus c. So, this is the result. This is our function f of x. It's our function, our function f of x. You see how we are going to just find an arbitrary function f of x. If the derivative of the function is given and some one particular range value for the function is given, that is immediately determined by the concept of integration. So f of x will be this one. Therefore, if you find the debate for this formula, you'll have this one. And the integral of that will be this one. So this is how we are going to relate uh, this concept of integration and differentiation based on this particular example. So now let's go to, now let's uh, go to the second example. On this second example, uh, you have already given f of 1 and f of 0. That means two range value for a certain arbitrary function is given. The function is not obviously given or the function is not obviously known. So if based on this information, how we are going to determine the integral of the derivative of some unknown function over f plus f of x with respect to the x. So let us immediately find the integral of this one. So to find the integral of this, Simply you can apply a method of substitution and that is solution for this problem will be solution of this problem will be the integral of f prime at x over squares of 1 plus f of x with respect to dx. So to find the, the integral of this one, let's replace or let u is given by 1 plus f of x. Then, if you find the derivative of this problem with respect to x, that is derivative of 1 is 0, and derivative of this function f is f prime at x, which is the x. So, this is immediately f prime dot x. So, now let's just take this one, and when we are taking this problem, therefore, the integral, the integral of f prime at x dx over, over squares of 1 plus f of x, x is running from 0 to 1, is given by the integral of, the integral of, that is, f prime dx will be du, and which is du over square of u, and which is already given by the integral of, the integral of u raised minus 1 over 2 du. So, now you can just find the integral of this based on the previous example. So that's immediately given by u raised 1 over 2 because if you add if you add 1 on this, that is 1 over 2 over 1 over 2, that is evaluated with respect to 0 and 1. So which is immediately to u square of u, that's evaluated with respect to 0 and 1. So therefore, finally, finally this result, finally this result will be as immediately given by this one, which is two squares of one plus f of x, which is evaluated with space to zero and one. Because you mean based on substitution, you have one plus f of x. So immediately we can calculate this result. That is two into. You can replace 1 on x, and this will be a square root of square root of 1 plus f of 1 minus a square root of 1 plus f of 0. 
and we have this. So this is immediately 2 into square root of 1 plus a4 of 1 mean from the given information that is 3 minus square root of 1 plus that is minus 1. So this is exactly 2 into 1 square root of 1 plus 3 will be 4. That is square root of 4 minus this is exactly the square root of 0 and which is given by 2 into 2 minus 0. So this is exactly 2 minus 0 is 2. 2 times 2 will be 4. So this is the result of this formula. Therefore, as you see, this is also another important exercise or example that will show you the relation between integration and differentiation. So based on this concept, you can, you can just describe, you can describe the relation between integration and differentiation. So this is all about our today's lesson. If you are a new member of my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, A Square Math Training. So thank you for today. Bye-bye.